How do we inspire motivation? That's a pretty universal human question. I'm sure that every single person watching this has asked that question at some point. In some way, you have like a parent or a brother, sister, best friend, or even a child of yours. And you want to encourage them to make some kind of positive change in their life. And you're just like, how do I do it? I think this is the thing that no matter how intelligent, um, emotionally intelligent, or, you know, enlightened, whatever you want to say, like, every single person struggles with this. Like, there's, because you can't change somebody else, no matter how much you want to. You can't cause somebody else to create a different outcome. So what does that leave us with? We still try, don't we? <laughs> and there are ways that we can have influence. But every time I think about that, I wonder if it is even appropriate. Maybe not being motivated right now is where whoever like whoever it is that you're trying to motivate maybe that's just where they are right now i am not motivated to make a change and quite often the issue that we would like to encourage somebody to change isn't even on their radar and there are other priorities that need to be addressed first before we even acknowledge that this is an issue, let alone look at it and change it. So knowing that and, and witnessing that, seeing that, seeing evidence of that, you know, the fact that sometimes people aren't ready to look at stuff and we're really, we, we can become quite desperate and quite intense with people when we care about them. And, you know, my personal journey through all of my stuff and um, watching friends and family and everybody else go through all their stuff, I have been forced to do nothing or like not forced to do nothing. I could have done a whole bunch of stuff, but I've been in that position where I've watched really devastating things happen knowing full well that I have no power over that. And that has led me to these insights. And I hope that nobody clicked on this video thinking like, I'm gonna give you this like formulated way to inspire people to change their lives so that you can like never have to worry about your friends and family ever again. Um, but it's not all doom and gloom either. I think that people will arrive at their own inspiration if you allow them to. And one thing that I will say about inspiring motivation in others is that the more desperate you are to inspire that change, the more obstacles you're actually putting in the way. If you want something to change, if you need it to change, You've been on the receiving end of that before, right? As universal as it is to want to inspire motivation in others, the other side of that coin is there have been times in your life where you've been the one, where everybody around you is looking at you, thinking, if we could just inspire this person, if we could just motivate this person to change this one thing about their life, they would thrive, they would flourish. We just were so, we were so invested in like assisting you to make that change, but we need you to see that this is an issue so that we can begin. Okay. And I suppose within that, when you realize that about yourself, that sure, right now you're looking around and you're like, it might be one particular person, it might be a few people, that you, you just want to change their lives. You want to help them see. 
that you've also been that person, that you might still be that person. And that might actually be where the only real ability and the only real power to inspire motivation in others lies if you can acknowledge right now in the present moment that there is something really important that needs your attention and if you changed that one thing it would have a ripple effect throughout not only your life but the lives of those around you maybe even the entire world getting all dramatic but if you if you actually sat back and you know you stopped investing all of that energy on somebody outside of yourself. No, it doesn't mean you don't care about them. It doesn't mean that you're not there to support them and that you wouldn't assist them if they came to you and said, like, I want to make a change. I need you to help me with this and this. Like, of course you're going to do it. But until then, let's look at what we can do for ourselves. And for a lot of people, that's quite a difficult thing. Uh, a lot of people feel selfish even taking five minutes out of their day for themselves. And it's exactly those kinds of people who are going to be desperate for the people that they love to change because it can almost become like your identity is so much about helping others and making other people's lives good that you like you're not even a part of your own identity anymore it's like i need to fix i need to help i need to support you know a lot of mothers are like that i feel i think my mother was a lot like that like she was just she wanted to make everything better all the time and you know like i said the more that you try to intervene and inspire motivation and inspire change in somebody in it when they're they're not open to it and they're not ready to acknowledge these issues that they're dealing with the more you're just putting obstacles in the way because you uh if you push against something it's going to push back if you push against somebody they're going to push back for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction i believe so isaac newton said <laughs> It's not that you inspire people by doing nothing. You inspire people by being an example. I know that I can keep working on making my life better. I can keep creating new amazing things for myself and others. I am the one who I just wanted to inspire everybody. I wanted to inspire change. Like I wrapped my whole identity up in how much impact, how, how much of a ripple effect I could create in this world. Only to realize that It doesn't really work like that like it doesn't it doesn't work like you want it to work you know helping people change like in a perfect world what we all wish is that if i put in heaps of effort into somebody else into helping somebody then i get heaps of change but it's just not the case but weirdly it's also true that you know, I, I might put heaps of effort into somebody and get no change um, because they're just not interested in making that change yet. But also sometimes you can put in very little effort and people can just flourish and thrive. Like sometimes all people need is like one sentence, like one positive compliment or something and 
that just they just go yep or like even you give them an idea but you just they've just popped into your awareness for an instant and you just say it out loud and then that they take that and they create like world changing stuff with it you know so back on the point of like let's look at ourselves what can we do like i aspire to be that person who you know if if you're going to make an effort with me if you're going to give me an idea or if you're going to share time with me i'm going to make the most of it and i am going to listen i'm going to listen to what you see in me what like even even your criticisms even if you say like uh, even if you notice and point out that i'm lacking in some area it's all fuel on the fire for me but i suppose then that's what this is like i get into this place where i think like i'm so motivated i just want to do the best that i can do and that becomes like an expectation that i project onto others sometimes I'm mindful of it it's not like i'm running around telling everybody you must be the best version of yourself or anything like that and i suppose there's even a time and a place for that like if the if this these videos were like that some people would be into it the, the kinds of people who would be into it are the kinds of people who don't need much to make a change they just log on to youtube in the morning watch two minutes of motivational or inspirational content and they're off if you want to make a change everything will help you make a change if you're comfortable and you're not ready to acknowledge that you have issues it wouldn't matter if the earth stopped turning or like that sounds negative it wouldn't matter if you know a trillion dollars was deposited into your bank account so that you had infinite resources to do anything that you ever imagined like if you don't want to change you're going to be the same person so hmm it seems a bit bleak this is just my video diary i'm just expressing what i'm thinking and feeling in the present moment it's never intended to be advice or guidance i suppose i've kind of been grappling with this for a while because like in my career i'm expected to inspire motivation i'm expected to inspire change like what we do is we assist people to change behaviors we assist people to develop new skills so that they can be more independent and i am patient with people i wait and i listen i'm not trying to make it all happen but sometimes i feel like i should be able to make it all happen and i think that's the universal thing that i'm talking about like we all have that we all have that when we care about somebody or we care about something and we can't change it there's this overwhelming urge to figure it out like what can i do differently what am i not seeing here why can't i access the cause of what's creating this and the the simple answer is that it doesn't belong to you it's got n it's none of your business <laughs> like really at the end of the day you can be present and you can be reflective you can listen and you can you know contribute your own thoughts and feelings by all means but if they're not received they're not received I think I do what I do well, but it's just not what I imagined it would be. Sometimes it is. There have been heaps of people who have come and spent one day with me and they're off. But then I, there's other situations where I've spent like a year with somebody. And I don't even want to say that that's a failure or like that if 
I'm spending lots of time with somebody that we're not achieving anything or like that like that's what I'm that's what I kind of mean like maybe somebody doesn't want to change like maybe they are comfortable maybe like this whole idea that we need to change these behaviors and develop these new skills like that's the objective but if people don't want to do it it sounds lazy doesn't it and I think that's that's what that's why we've got the feels about it when we look at people that we care about we want to inspire motivation and we can't do it like and then you kind of like all this contemplation that I've just done live about this issue you do that like you you realize like there's nothing I can really do it's really their journey all these things and then you you go full circle and you come to this place and you think like okay so if I can't do anything just relax it doesn't have to be a big deal and then you have that feeling like am I doing enough and in that moment I could go and talk myself around in that same circle again which I've been doing <laughs> until I turned the camera on and now I've sort of captured it so I can I can see this quite clearly now because like, I've kind of just been doing it unconsciously like it's just been running as a thought process in my head but when I actually say it out loud and I'm forced to articulate it, it makes it conscious and I realize like man I've been really caught up in like motivating people and not being able to and now I can let it go a little bit can see why it's like it's been my personal life it's in my career life it's in my own self it's in other people that I see interacting with one another I can see like even like layers of this issue like mum wants this to change about the daughter and the father wants this to change about the mum but he also wants this to change about the daughter and the daughter wants this to change about mum and dad you know everybody's looking at everybody else but nobody's looking at themselves and that's where all the power is that's where all the possibility lies we can change anything about ourselves we can't change a damn thing about anybody else so let's get to it. <laughs> Go check out kylibs.com. Have a little look-see. Check out the documentaries on there. There are some really powerful ways to change your life that I have documented. Click the like button for me if you enjoy these videos. Leave your comments down below and subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs>